Hello and good afternoon. I'm Dr. Beatrice Moses, and I'm excited and happy to be live on this video with a dream and passion that beats within my heart to open a veterinary pharmacy at my local government, a hometown, Ganye local government of Adamawa State. As a graduate of veterinary medicine from the esteemed University of Meduguri, my journey in this profession has been guided by a deep commitment to animal welfare and the communities they serve. Ganye is a densely populated area and a home for numerous farmers who solely survive on the well-being of their livestock as a means of their livelihood. And despite this, um, the need for an essential infrastructure is still lacking in this local government area, depending, or shall I say, relying only on a small veterinary clinic owned by a veterinarian, which I believe that this avenue by the farm alert will give us an opportunity to meet the rising demands, or shall I say, the suppressed demands on this little clinic in this local government area. The need for a comprehensive veterinary pharmacy in Gagne is not just a desire, I believe it is a necessity. This necessity is born out to the commitment of the health and the prosperity of my community, as well as the animal inhabitants in Ganye local government area. With the support of Farmalat, I envision a veterinary pharmacy that does not only provide essential drugs, medicines and supplies, but also a hope for veterinary knowledge exchange, training and also a capacity building center, as well as uh, condoning activities and programs that promote animal welfare and a good agricultural practices. The striking question I believe is why now and why at this moment? And I believe that this answer lies in the convergence of opportunity and readiness. This generous grant will not only be utilized to build a state-to-art veterinary pharmacy at Ganya local government but I believe the plan is to not just meet up the demands of our clients, but also to exceed their expectation. So furthermore, to look into the growth plan for this veterinary pharmacy at Ganyi local government, at the initial year of its inception, the first year, the main growth plan is the establishment of this pharmacy at a strategic location. Then secondly, is building partnership with local farmers, veterinarians, and also stakeholders at this um, town, and also ensuring to get to know their basic needs, their problems and challenges, so that we can narrow and tailor our services. So if we are able to achieve the establishment as well as the partnership coordination at the first year, by the second year, our plan is to make sure that we expand our products and our services to be able to enhance our satisfaction to the clients. Secondly, we also will be looking into uh, telemedicine, giving out ambulatory services and reaching out to nearby villages and building up uh, a bond system by which we can be able to reach out even from uh, a distant location, building out uh, uh, an outlet for them to reach out to these uh, veterinary stores and veterinary pharmacies and linking up with local drug stores. And let I forget, at this same second year, the plan is also to collaborate with local authorities to ensure the promotion of policies and regulations that promote animal welfare as well as the uh, well-being of animal inhabitants and sustainable animal practices. So by the end of the third year, by then we have been able to consolidate our position in Kenya local government area as the leading veterinary pharmacy, I believe. And by the same time, we'll be exploring other alternatives for diversification and looking on to venturing into various um, entrepreneurial services we can give from the veterinary standpoint in this same uh, Kenya local government area. So in conclusion, I stand in this recorded video 
not as an individual that is looking for a funding for a business venture, but a steward that is looking forward to his vision, or shall I say a community of vision whose uh, life dependent is solely on the well-being of their animals, and the well-being of this animal directly correlates to their prosperity and also their happiness. So I believe that the Farmer Lab initiative will solely be present in Ghanaian local government. And I will stand to appreciate all other people, not just uh, participants or contestants or people or individuals with great minds like mine, but wherever you are, I believe that this opportunity has given you a smile, not just to the veterinary profession, but to any individual that has a focus on a goal like this. Thank you very much.